What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video I'm just going to be, you know, hanging around the house and vlogging about it because I have a lot to discuss and updates on a couple things I want to inform you guys on because uh, 2019 will be here. It feels like tomorrow because time, whew, it's going by so fast. But anyway, right now all I'm doing is just making some homemade spaghetti. I love my sauce. I think I have some of the best sauce out there that I've tasted all the way from like the good five-star restaurants. They don't have anything on my sauce. Let me show you a close-up. Now, of course, you got to have some beef up in there. I'm not a big fan of like, you know, meatballs and Italian sausage or anything like that in mine. That's just me. But what I do is for this amount of sauce, I put about two and a half to three pounds of beef in there. And of course, you got to have your salt, pepper, Italian seasoning a lot of garlic, and the main thing I put a lot in there is crushed red pepper. That is my favorite thing to add into everything, even the cereal. And the onion that I like to use, I like to use Vidalia onion because it, I don't like to add sugar to my sauce. I just don't like that. But Vidalia onions gives it that tiny, tiny hint. If you get enough onion in there, it gives it that tiny bit of a sweet taste to it, but not too much. And of course, a large green bell pepper and there's my sauce and of course it's not going to be ready until four o'clock it's 10 34 right now I'm getting hungry already and I cook it on very low heat and just let it simmer and of course when I do spaghetti I love to make garlic bread from scratch I usually just you know take a big glob of butter put it in the mixer and then I put a lot of garlic in there a little bit of pepper and of course your Italian seasoning oregano whatever you want to use Blend that all up and then throw it in the oven. I usually do it for like five, six minutes on 425. Give it to where the outside's crunchy but not burnt and the inside's still a little like soft but not too mushy soft but enough crisp there but not burnt. So anyway, a quick couple updates on some things that's going on in my life. 2019 is going to be here before we know it and that is the year, you know, fingers crossed and I'm going to be going for my car. And I've worked up my credit score. I finally checked it the other day and it was a lot higher than I thought because I, the main secret I have in life, I don't really don't have any credit cards compared to everybody out there. I got one credit card. Now that's a credit card that you can use everywhere. I do have a Best Buy card, but that's not a credit card you can use everywhere or anything like that. So a credit card that you can use like everywhere that you go, I got one. And I don't get it toward the maximum line. I just have it a little bit on there to where I can just pay payments a little over the minimum so that way you can build up your credit that way. This house helps me build up my credit. Paying off my Optima helped it and now I have a Kia Soul that's about to be paid off and that's when I'm going to go for the car. So stay tuned, you know, fingers crossed. I'm hoping that everything works out great, you know, my financial standpoint. And there's a lot of things I need to get too. Like I need to get a jack, jack stands, you know, a breaker bar. I, there's a lot of things I need to get because once I get it, I'm going to be doing my own oil changes and working on my own car. I hope you can't see it on camera because like right behind my head is something that I got planned for a video coming up really soon called Keep Halloween Alive. If you're new to my channel, I love to do Halloween videos all year round on things that you could do to keep the spirit of Halloween alive because that's who I am inside my heart. I love Halloween time all year round. I love to stay spooky. Love to think about it all year round, watch horror movies relating to Halloween. That's just who I am as a person. But behind my head is something really cool that you're going to want to see. I'll try to have it up on Monday and stay tuned for that video. But one of the things I wanted to update on as well is that I really would love to get the chance to know all of you. Like I'm literally talking about everyone who watches my videos. And I know that's hard to do. But if you can just like, you know, talk to me on Instagram or even on, I don't check my Facebook too much. Instagram is my go-to. Now, if you want to check me out on Instagram and like, you know, message me on there so I can get to know you, I'll be down for that because I don't want to be like other YouTubers who just want you to follow me and go, oh, click the bell, click the like. Like, I don't like that. I want to be able to build a relationship on people to where, you know, it's about us, not about me, but about us. Mainly because I appreciate all of you who do watch because you don't have to watch my video and I'm not trying to be like other YouTubers who are like, Virtue, where are you? I'm not screaming for Virtue to say like, look at me, I'm such a good guy. I'm against that. 
I don't like that. But I do love the fact that it's because of you guys why I had some of my footage on the Weather Channel. I can't thank you guys enough. That was a big accomplishment to me to be able to see my footage on YouTube on the Weather Channel when it was about the Circleville Pumpkin Show. I did a video about it. I'm so thankful for that. So I want you guys to know that I appreciate you. Even if you're local, maybe we can meet up, hang out, watch a movie or two. You know, I'm down for whatever. So I would like to get to know you guys a little bit more, even if it's on a personal level, you got things you want to talk about and you feel like you can't talk to other people. Let me know. I'll try my best to be there for you. But also keep in mind, I work a lot of hours and I do have a life I attend to. So if I don't come to you like really quick, or like as soon as possible, please understand that too, that, you know, things do happen in life and I got to attend to things first and then I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. Some of my favorite moments on being on YouTube happened to be like, you know, I got a chance to hang out with Halloween Happy. That was cool when she came over and, you know, we got a chance to talk off of camera just to know each other a little bit better and I showed her my passion, hence the name Surround Sound Freak. I got a lot of passions in life and like, you know, photography, surround sound, movies and whatever. I'll get back to that some other time. But point being, and I showed her my surround sound and she was just like, wow, that's loud. And it was cool to be able to hang out with her. And when I did this collaboration video with any and, uh, wow, brain fart. Sorry about that. I'm human. We all have brain farts, but Halloween mischief. And then when me, Tori, Halloween mischief and any, we did that collaboration video where we did pumpkin carving. I would like to do that again sometime soon, like a video collab like that. And one of my favorite moments ever was when me, my friend Jimmy, Leo Looks, and October Always, and of course Tori, we all met up to see Halloween. That meant a lot to me because Halloween means a lot to me in my life. Now, of course, I already mentioned the holiday, but now I'm talking about the movie. That movie means a lot to me artistically. I mean, it helped me get behind the camera and create like, you know, this art form I got in my brain and put it into pictures or directing. It helped me a lot in life. And to be able to meet up with all of them and be able to dress up as Michael Myers in the theater, that meant a lot to me. And of course I'll pop their names up, which I probably already did while I was editing, but that meant a lot to me. And I just, I've done quite a bit on YouTube and you know, I would like to pursue more with you guys and that's my whole point is that I just want it to seem like a two-way street relationship and not a one-way and yeah you may see the Christmas decorations you know that's not really all 100% me I love Christmas and all but that's Tori's holiday she loves Christmas like the way I love Halloween so when she gets home from work I can have her do a tour or something like that I hope I remember because she don't get off for a while but anyway I want to show you a couple things that me and my family do I would like to know also in the comments below, what are your plans for Christmas? Are you getting together with some family? Unfortunately, I know some people don't have family in their own state and they can't really visit them. So what are you going to be doing if you're one of those people? You're going to get with some friends. You got a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife. Or, I mean, what are you going to be doing? I would like to know. Just let me know in the comments below. What do you got planned for Christmas? Also, I would like to know what do you exactly do with your family? You know, the more older you get, the more you realize it's really not about buying and buying and buying and putting yourself in more debt. It's far away from that. It's about being with your family, loving, being thankful to be able to have a family. So one thing that we've been doing year by year, we've been dropping the limit of, you know, if we buy things for each other, we would prefer if we handmade things. Like the way my sister, she's talented. She hand makes all kinds of things. My dad is really artistic. I'll show you here in a second. He created this really cool thing for me and Tori. But anyway, we used to spend a lot of money on each person and it would just be a lot of money going out. So right now we're at the point where we're like, hey, no more than 50 bucks and preferred handmade things. So that way you know it came from the heart. Not just going and buying something easy to go like, oh, here you go, Merry Christmas. It didn't come from the heart, really. But when you hand make things, which I'll show you here right now. While I, before I show you that, I showed you this last year, or was it two years ago? I can't remember. My sister handmade me this blanket. I love it. It's a humongous blanket from whenever I get cold watching movies because when you're on a leather couch in the wintertime, you freeze. I'm so thankful that we got a couch that folds down and has these little plugs right here. It's where you can put a heat eating blanket on. That rocks. And then the other side's a bunch of ghosts. 
And, you know, she's very talented. And the other thing that she just made me the other day, I'll show you here. She made me this thing. I think she calls it the cricket. I don't know. I'm not really into arts and crafts, but she made this for me. And right there on the side, it says no lives matter with Michael Myers' mask on it. I absolutely love it. Now, the other day, my dad hand painted this humongous sign. I'm a huge fan of Calvin and Hobbes. I grew up reading those comics more than Marvel comics. And I was more of a DC fan, by the way. I loved Batman growing up, but other comic strips I love to read, I love to read like the newspaper comic strips like Garfield. I was a huge fan of Garfield as well, but Calvin and Hobbes, one of my favorite things ever, I love the segments of where he would build snowmen, and my dad just came up with this idea. I'll show you a close-up, of course, and that's one thing that I'm talking about is that what my family loves to do for each other. Instead of just buying like gift cards or giving money or buying a gift, we love to just create things by hand because you're getting the one and only thing out there. You can't go buy this anywhere. So let me show you a close-up of what it looks like. Now, if you read Calvin and Hobbes before, these will look familiar. These are straight out of the comic strips. Now, I do not know how exactly how long it took him to do this. He did this behind my back. I would go over and visit quite a bit, and out of nowhere, he was just like, Hey, I made you and Tori something. Here you go. So we hang it up right here above one of my pictures I created. I can't remember how long ago I took this picture, but I do know and still remember it was the Nikon D40 camera. I missed that camera because that's what started the whole journey. And it was only a six megapixel camera, 24 by 36 canvas. And I went to Hobby Lobby and had the frame put around it. I love this. This means a lot to me because it's shown you right there. You don't need the best equipment in the world. You just need to know your fundamentals about photography you can create amazing photos and that's one thing I like to do for my family I love to give them pictures that I could go out and take because you can't really get these from anywhere else here's another one of my shots I'm sorry about the glare that frame right there is not one of those non-reflective glass ones I got but I do have a frame like that over here I've already done a video on this one so if you haven't seen it it's one of my pride and joy ones I took this down I believe this one was called an ash cave I'm not mistaken it's down in Hawking Hills in Ohio one of my pride and joys the frame cost me quite a bit as I said I did it in my out and about number 17 if I'm not mistaken you'll see it. it's the one where we went to Hawking Hills and oh my gosh I love this frame it's non-reflective glass but to be able to give this something like just like this as a gift you will not believe the expression on their faces from like tears to tears of joy. I hope it is. I hope it's like, oh my gosh, it sucks. But you know, I'm sorry if that seemed like a little ramble or anything like that. I was just going into details of what me and my family like to do for each other. And to show you one little thing that I just got in the mail the other day. Not too long ago, about maybe two and a half weeks ago, I did a senior portrait session and the father wanted a big print, a 16 by 20 to put behind his couch. And he was flipping out over this picture that when he saw it on my iMac, he was like, I want that want a big one behind my couch. I love it. I thought it was okay. Didn't think it was the best picture ever. But now that I see it on print, oh my gosh, he's going to freak out even more. It's very glossy, so sorry about the glare. There's what it looks like, and I think it turned out great. It just, nice smile, good looking kid. You know, I just really like this. And I like the way his hair looks in it, the black and white of it, because the collar wasn't a fan of. But when I turned it to black and white, it just popped. And there we go. I'm happy over it. And I got like a huge package of like 5x7s, 8x10s, 4x6s, wallets. They ordered a lot. So I'm not going to go through and show you all those because there's a lot of prints. I think 98 prints. So that's a lot. So yeah, besides Halloween, surround sound, movies, my biggest passion in life is photography, but man, do I love Halloween. Way back then, I can't remember exactly when I got this poster. I was wanting to do a video. I was too excited to get it because this is an original Halloween 2018 release, and it's double-sided, so maybe one day I could save up for a double-sided frame to where you can light it up. I think that would look amazing with this poster, and I thought it would look cool to have the original Halloween and 2018 poster that one's not original. That's a reprint. It would be awesome if I could find the original, but you'd be paying probably like 800 bucks or something like that. So that's going to be a hard pass for me. But when it came to this, 
It was only 50 bucks on the poster site that I go to in Canada. I, movie posters or movieposter.com. One of those two, I can't remember if it had the S or not. Point being, you can find it through Google. They do have legit original posters. They give you a certificate when you order one. I have it on the back of this frame too. That's an original one from Everybody Wants Some. So that's an update right there. I really don't remember if I told you guys that I do have, but if I did, sorry if I wasted your time. Okay, since I got a little bit of time to spare, I'm gonna go ahead and play a couple rounds of Call of Duty because it's been over a month since I played, so I wanna see what's going on and check this out. I did this before in a Keep Halloween Live video, but check this background out if you're interested. I love that background. I love that dynamic theme. I keep it up all year round. Like I said, I love Halloween too much. Yep, you can tell it's me by the Days to Confuse emblem. I can't help it. I'm obsessed with that movie, I guess. If I get a chance to play, it gets pretty loud in here. We're winning this. I suck. Oh crap, didn't see that guy there. At least I got to kill all of it, whatever. Not sure how I got that, but okay. You know what? I feel like making some chocolate chip cookies. And now, to the easy part. How do you guys like your cookies? Do you like them big and huge? Giggity. Or do you like them small? I usually like them about medium size. I scoop about that much. That first scoop sucked. That was too much. But oh well. Still can't beat a good big old cookie. Not only that, what do you guys like to put in your cookies? I know some people like to put some nuts and all that into it. Is there something different that you like to add to it? I might try to bake some like pumpkin cookies here soon because I still have pumpkin puree left over. I buy a lot of it every year. So maybe I could do some of that for the next Keep Halloween Alive. Who knows? And on to my last scoop for Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. Name that movie. There we are. Those look delicious. All right, the cookies are done. Right now, I'm going to relax and watch the rest of Scarface. I was watching it yesterday. I'm going to finish off where I left off. Not much going on after that. After this movie, I'm going to start like the garlic bread, and that's when Tori will be home. So I'm going to get that prepared, get the noodles ready. So thank you for watching this video, and take a hold of what I said at the beginning. Like I said, I really would like to get to know all of you and blah, blah, blah. you already seen that part of the video. But thank you for watching this random video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll check you later.